Okay, so this second video will be now about um, the analysis for a specific type of file set. And uh, what I'm going to do is that I, I'm going to analyze, again, very roughly, a couple of uh, papers from a project that we're doing uh, in relation to the analysis of uncertainty language using some historical papers. Uh, these are papers from BMJ. So this is the... Um, the PDF for each one of these files. Um, as you can see, you know, there's a bunch of tables here, but there's also uh, a few things that don't belong. So, for example, at the end of this paper about BC, uh, BCG, you have something that's the beginning of another paper. So, the first thing to do is let's close these files. Uh, what I did was I used a software, an OCR software called uh, Abby. Um, to convert the files, here's Abby, to convert the files to a text document. Um, and the, the end result, I'll just open one of them, was a text file. Um, now, there are two comments here in relation to this conversion. So the first comment is that the conversion is not, the, the conversion is not entirely uh, clean. Uh, so, as I mentioned before, there are portions of other papers that have to be removed. Uh, also, in the transition, let me show you this. In the transition between one, between one page and the next, for example here, uh, you have, at least for this issue, a few uh, you know, things on the heading here that will get converted. So, these have to be removed. Second problem is... Uh, that within some of the, actually happened with both of these files, uh, there was some kind of tag, a uh, hidden tag, uh, that, uh, you know, basically they, 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 there was an error message saying that there were incomplete final lines, okay? Now, within the, the script, for this uh, for this analysis, I've a, I have actually placed a link here, this one, that will tell you how to get rid of that uh, final line, uh, and you can do this as a simple script. You have to run this from a terminal. Now, in the Macintosh, because it's a Unix type of system, uh, it, that's fairly easy to do. I'm not really sure, and of course, you know, in the Linux system, it's uh, super use, uh, easy to do. Here, uh, uh, in Windows, I am not entirely sure how this would be done. But anyway, this is something that can happen. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to close these two uh, files. Um, as you can see, I have created a folder here, a directory, where I have placed the txt files. Um, probably one last thing that I should say uh, I just did a, a open the file and then I did save as. Uh, just to show you that I have saved this with uh, UTF-8 uh, encoding and a line ending LF. I don't know whether this would make a difference for other types of analysis, um, but at least R didn't complain. I, I still don't have enough experience to see to know whether this would make a difference or not. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is that we have the txt files in here. I'm not going to use the, the, the two PDF files. Uh, and I put the two txt files within this folder called BMJ folder. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open Equimax like I did last time. Uh, so Equimax is the 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 Emacs for the Mac, Ctrl X F just to open my my file. It's called bmj.r, and here you go. So I have this in one screen. I don't need this sketch anymore. Uh, I'm going to split the screen with the Command Alt to. I'm doing this quickly because I explained this before, uh, and then I am going to. Um, open a 
R se se uh, section by ALT, which is the M meta, ALT X uh, capital R. And this, uh, it asks me, asks, ask, <laughs> it's asking me about the starting data directory. Desktop is fine. So I just say yes, and here you go. So now I have R here, and I have, um, I have um, the script all the way there. So now a few comments. Basically, you know, I'm going to run this because we have a little more time now. I'm going to run this line by line. So I, learn, I, I run first. Uh, I'm going to incorporate the, the libraries. So control CJ for this first library. As you can see, it keeps doing that, uh, running the command. And then for the RGBC. For some reason, when I put RGBC in here, it didn't take it. It was giving me an error message. I still couldn't figure exactly why. This next command here, I'm basically creating the corpus. So uh, this command, um, corpus, it's actually part of the TM package. Uh, and I am giving it a command uh, for to go directly to a folder, it expects a folder or a directory, uh, and I'm pointing it to my BMJ folder. In other words, this file here. I don't need to put the names of the individual files, thank God, because you know, if, I, if you were to have a folder with like hundreds of files, uh, it would be hard to type. So I just point to the folder and it will take absolutely everything that's in there. Uh, and I have is reader control, uh, list language, uh, so basically Latin characters. Uh, again, for every single line, I have uh, some comments that I think are going to help. And then I'm throwing this into an object called BMJ Corpus, okay? So control CJ, we run this, and it says indeed that uh, it generated a corpus with two text documents. Which documents? Well, basically my two uh, articles here, okay. Uh, now I had one command here where you can export or or the corpora. I'm not going to do that. And then uh, here I have a bunch of uh, uh, ways of actually cleaning the the, the the my corpus. So this command here uh, will strip white space. I'm just doing Control C J. Uh, this one will remove all capital letters uh, and turn them into lower letters. Um, this one will take out uh, the several stop words. Now, stop words, if, if you want to know what a stop word is, uh, you can use this command here. But stop words are a, 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 a group of words that are, you know, we don't want to evaluate uh, within the analysis. So this is a list. Now, stop words, you know, they will vary uh, from uh, study to study. So, for example, I didn't do a formal analysis for uncertainty here, but if I were to do an info, uh, a formal analysis, I would have to look at these words because they will get excluded uh, to make sure that I don't have anything in here uh, that is a word that I'm interested in, okay? Uh, so basically, you, you remove all the stop words. Uh, and then, very important, uh, this uh, step, it's called uh, uh, stemming. Uh, and basically, what the stemming step does is that uh, it turns all the, 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 the different uh, uh, words into their stems. Now, a stem, uh, there's a very precise linguistic definition. It's not, it's not necessarily equivalent to a root of a word, but it's basically an abbreviated version. Now, why do you do that? Well, you do that because then you end up with words that are more comparable against each other. Um, apparently, there was an error message here, I think, if I remember correctly, that this was happening because the just try to fix this. This library was not loading appropriately. Let's see. Now it seems to be. Let's try it again. Control C J. Yeah, now it does it. 
So as you can see, uh, it well number very important uh, for this. Uh, um, it's it's using the uh, stem words for English. Of course, you know the stem words are going to be uh, language specific. Then finally, uh, there's the uh, BMG DTM. It it's a documenter matrix. Uh, and I'll show you exactly what that uh, uh, matrix is. So basically, it's it's it it, it it's counting uh, uh, the terms. Now, this these two documents are huge. So if I were to display the entire document term matrix, you know, it would be gigantic. So I'm just going to take the uh, one to five, so the first five variables, and I'm only going to take uh, observations between 100 and 105. Uh, and let's see what this looks like. So basically, this is what it looks like. So for the first paper, um, well, it took a bunch of numbers. You know, that was not necessarily what I wanted. But uh, you know, 1933, uh, there was one. Ta 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 ta. Uh, I could probably do that with you know a different number of uh, of uh, words. Um, you can generate frequencies. So, for example, here for this line, I just said, "Give me a list of all uh, words that happen with a frequency greater than five per uh, per text." Uh, here, you have the possibility of running associations. Again, it's a long document. Uh, but basically, the association is uh, 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 proximity in terms of um, in terms of you know where they are located in the text itself. And then this final one, it removes uh, sparse terms, so uh, terms that you know don't necessarily occur very often, um, and then look at their. Uh, uh, um, the associations. Okay, so bottom line is that the TM package can do a lot of different analysis, um, many of them similar to what I think the Macerata group was getting from Wordsmith, uh, but probably here I am guessing, you know, because there are so many other functions that we can use from other packages for data mining, we have a greater degree of flexibility. Now, final comment is for this text, because you know this was just a demonstration, I didn't have any XML tagging. Now, if you have XML tagging, then uh, you know the possibilities are ending. So, and because our texts are annotated, uh, there will be a lot more uh, that we're going to be able to do in the future. Okay, then that was it. Bye.